Welcome to the Chunks and VRACs tutorial. Chunks are sequences within your project. So we have two sequences for our convenience here. Okay, that's sequence number one, and this is sequence number two. And if we have the Chain Chunks button pressed here, what happens is once we get to the end of sequence number one, okay, it's going to automatically play into sequence number two. Now, if you wanted just to queue up to sequence number two, you basically just use this button, it's called queue chunks, and then it will queue up to number two. And of course, these are self-explanatory, just, you know, queuing forward and queuing backwards, okay? Now, a V-Rack is a virtual instrument rack. And if you have a very, very heavy sequence with a lot of instruments loaded into it, the V-Rack will serve extremely well as an alternative to putting your virtual instruments into each sequence individually. Okay, so the V-Rack is accessible to all sequences inside a Digital Performer project. Okay, if I could load up, let's just say this BPM here. One moment. Okay. And now this is accessible in sequence number one. BPM, right? Now we'll go to sequence number two. And go to a MIDI track and BPM. That same BPM in the V-Rack is accessible now. Okay. One more thing. You can create a new song. And a new song is basically done by grabbing a chunk from one of your sequences and another chunk from another sequence. Or, you know, you, want, you can even stack your chunks, whatever you really want to do, okay? And now it becomes one harmonious song, okay? I'll just show that to you. Of course, all of these different projects mixed together don't sound correct right now, but I think you understand the idea and you can see its use, okay? All right, you can also delete chunks. You can set the chunk start time, okay? You can duplicate a sequence, you can open chunks, okay? Auto manual edit time, okay, for your chunk. You know, if you want it to end at a different time here. 81 instead. Well, there you go. Now you can make sequence one end at 81. Okay. There you go. So it's going to take it from 81. All right. And this concludes the tutorial on chunks and V-racks.